I'm James Bannister. I'm a photographer and director. I work primarily with a large format camera. I make photo books that I consider to be visual storytelling. My first project was a photo book about the A30 that used to go from the centre of London to Land's End. It's about people who live off the grid, but really explores feelings of escapism and that want inside a lot of people to run away and disappear. I graduated in 2013 from the photography course at Falmouth University. After I graduated university, I assisted for a couple of years and I took some time to learn the craft of photography. But I always knew that I wanted to go out on my own and be the photographer. Now I get to work with clients all over the world. I have been recently concentrating on only working with clients who have the same vision as me. Getting work has always been quite organic. I don't really reach out to people. Any advice I would give is just focus on your work and what you do. And if your personal work is strong and is your voice, that that will attract the right people. As you go along in your career, it's quite rare to get a bad client. After a certain amount of experience, everyone you work with is amazing and creative in their own field. So you learn to say no at an earlier stage of the communication if you sense that your visions aren't aligned. Work-life balance as a freelancer is hard to achieve because work comes along like buses. Often I have to work, you know, seven days a week sometimes. I think it's just being aware to take time away when you do have that downtime. If I had it my way, I would work all the time. My eye works best with a four by five frame and the considered process of working with film. Gear is a funny question when it comes to photography because kit does matter to some extent. The way I like to think about it is like a painter, how they would select a paintbrush or how a musician would select an instrument. That's only 10% of the equation and the important ingredient is your individual voice. The achievement that I'm most proud of is being able to make a good living from what I love doing. I get to work with amazing creative people all the time, so I'm very grateful for that. My process when it comes to editing is quite natural. I like to print everything out. I really think a lot about sequencing in my work, how you turn the page, how it feels from turning from this image to this image and the pace in which you do that and how sequencing helps or speeds up or slows down. I was commissioned by the British Journal of Photography and Leica Cameras to travel around the UK for a month. One of the images was selected and won the Portrait of Britain Award last year. The image that was selected was a portrait of Coach Hasiba, who had won the Commonwealth Medal for Community because of her work with hijabi boxers. Photography is an excellent way to process your thoughts and feelings about the world. I think when it's really working well, it doesn't really feel like it's you doing it. It's kind of flowing through you. And that's when I think the best work is made.